how we generated over 120,000 rand in online sales for our dropshipping business in South Africa. and girls so welcome back to another episode of the business talk where we focus on sharing our tips tricks and secrets of how you can go about in terms of growing and scaling your business online so i'm shane bichna founder of the business media where as mentioned we help small and medium-sized businesses with using facebook ads google ads as well as email marketing to help them in terms of growing and scaling their business online so for those that have that have tuned in, in today's uh, video and the first time to your channel, at this channel we share content around e-commerce, dropshipping and business growth, mostly in the sense of digital advertising, social media and marketing and business best practices in general. So if this is, if this is your first time uh, watching any of our videos, I would like you to please uh, drop a comment uh, down below as well as just to subscribe if you would like to, to be in the know of any future and up and coming uh, videos so again without further ado uh, as as in today's title uh, of our of our video is i would like to share with you the biggest lessons uh, whether it's tips and tricks or secrets that we have learned with being able to take our online store to 120,000 rand within 12 months in south africa so firstly uh, we focused on building and starting a dropshipping business so this business is, this business was started in November of 2022. So basically one year ago, that's when we started uh, this business. So this business uh, took the shape and form of a dropshipping online store. So for those that don't know, dropshipping is whereby you don't own the stock and inventory that you list and advertise and sell on your online store. Only once you receive an order to your online store, would you need to fulfill that order. That order will be fulfilled directly uh, from your courier or it will be delivered from the courier to your location where you will then be able to dispatch and deliver your orders uh, and uh, goods uh, to your customers this this is a very simple business model because again it's not capital or uh, investment heavy so you don't need uh, lots of money to firstly you know start the business and it's not as difficult in in the sense of having to build your own brand or business where you have to develop the product find a business name a brand name and go about in terms of you know doing all the necessary homework before you go about in terms of launching uh, your brand but what we essentially done was using an existing brand within the market so i think the first step was to find the right uh, brand product uh, and supplier so those 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 three really much uh, ties together so basically you would have to you know firstly start off with doing your market research so understand what is it that your market would be willing uh, to buy and and shop or and looking to shop uh, for right now is it the product that is a necessity that people require you know all the time does it serve a particular you know market or niche is it you know generally you know service it towards or marketed towards male or female is it an item or product that is you know for a more older customer a younger customer a teenager a baby or if it is at a higher price point or premium uh, product or if it is uh, a mass market or a lower uh, price point item those are all stuff that you have to do when it comes to your product uh, research but that's that's importantly your first uh, and most important you know step and aspect is to find the right products uh, to sell what the right product is again finding the right supplier a supplier that is uh, reliable that is going to be able to fulfill uh, your orders uh, and dispatch the orders when and if necessary uh, and also to be able you know to make sure that when the orders are delivered uh, or dispatched that it, that it is quality controlled and that the products you know are in working uh, condition and it is the correct product as per what the customer you know have ordered but you know moving on from the first or initial point of you know firstly understanding the correct product or uh, that you that you would like uh, to sell so again uh, this this video is again suited for you whether you are an existing brand or product you can kind of you know very much scope this this step but if you are a business that look it wants to if you're a business that wants to start selling online then it's important that you you know keep this step uh, in mind again some products are, are basics uh, and everybody requires and needs them or some products are very you know niche uh, or, or has a particular market that they serve or again there are products that again are seasonal with 
customers only shop them particular times uh, of the year or th there are things that are again summer products or winter products or again uh, products that customers will shop just on occasions uh, or it is trend uh, related so i think the first thing we focus on once we found our product and launched our online store was to get customers and traffic you know to our online store because we now have built uh, and now launched our online store no one knew about uh, the online store other than my friends and family uh, that i told about uh, the new business but the first step was to again attract customers and visitors to that store so we we decided to use the approach of facebook ads so whether we used a minimum budget of 20 rand uh, and even going as far as 50 rand per day this allowed us to actually really much test out which product is working. So again, using this uh, approach of, of paid uh, Facebook ads, we were able to again, you know, not only to drive awareness uh, to our newly built online store, uh, also to test which products were selling or gonna sell better uh, than others. We were also able to use this uh, to drive traffic, but also to be able to start building data uh, within the Facebook, uh, uh, app manager in the sense of audience uh, and customers again we will use this audiences uh, in in kind of uh, the future steps when we talk about the retargeting and remarketing uh, to customers so again uh, with the, with a kind of small and low budget we were testing out different things such as products uh, different uh, images and collaterals whether we use uh, static image whether we use videos whether we use uh, images with sound or videos uh, with sound really much focused about testing out you know different uh, types of, of advertising we also focused on uh, different objectives again as mentioned uh, whether it was the objective to increase and drive uh, awareness whether the objective was to drive traffic and customers to our website or whether the objective was to actually uh, focus on driving conversions uh, and sales and all of those options are available uh, to you if you have uh, a Facebook business uh, manager uh, and under the ads manager uh, option you'll be able to set up your, your own uh, Facebook ads so again Facebook ads is applicable for again any business that is selling uh, products right now whether you sell uh, through an online store through a marketplace or through uh, offline channel uh, as well secondly we focused on customer conversion so once we started getting all these customers uh, to our to our online store we now had to convert these customers into either adding these products to their cart signing up to our newsletter or, or even uh, essentially to place an order uh, and to make a transaction with us online so firstly we focused on building trust so trust for a new online store is a very big thing so africa we have a big issue of uh, online fraud and scams so a lot of people are very hesitant in terms of ordering and placing orders from a new uh, online store so what we did first was giving customers a discount voucher for any, any first purchase so basically what we did was we offered uh, subscribers 10 percent uh, for every time they were going to shop uh, for every first purchase that they have made uh, so basically we called that first shop and for every order they've made they would have received a 10 percent discount voucher for that so that really helped a lot of customers that were uh, first skeptical about the store uh, it gave them you know some kind of confidence uh, in terms of making their first purchase with using you know the the discount and voucher code we next also focused on free delivery many times in africa customers don't want to pay for delivery fee uh, at all that's why we offered the option for free delivery so all orders over a certain uh, value or threshold whether it is 500 a thousand or two thousand for example would qualify for free delivery so in that event customers were not billed for delivery cost or they didn't have to pay any extra or additional delivery fees or charges that fee and delivery was taken care of uh, from us as the online store but really much it helped us increase our conversion rate uh, to our customers uh, last but not least uh, because we were trying to build up our email database uh, and also be able to engage with customers on emails because we gave out the 10 percent uh, first shop discount voucher we were exchanging the discount for customers uh, email addresses for us to be able to communicate uh, to these customers but also we were also building again these email database we were, we were able to talk to these customers via mailers so these mailers consisted of uh, launching new arrivals talking about new products whenever we had a promotion or a special we'd use our emailer to communicate this to our customer the, our emailers were 
customers that were much more engaged with our brand and business so therefore they were more likely to convert uh, make an order and essentially convert into into a sale so those were kind of the principles we followed from a conversion uh, point of view so firstly we focused on customer uh, acquisition secondly we focused on customer conversion and lastly we focused on how do we now increase our average order value and how do we make customers actually spend more with us online that is where we started introducing uh, various methods or strategies around uh, increasing our, our average order value or as we know it as our AOV. Here we focus on giving customers again discount on promotions when they shop the second or third time with us. So any repeat customer would now receive a voucher uh, for that kind of loyalty or for them to come in make another repeat or a return uh, purchase. As mentioned earlier, remember different products have different product life cycles. So some products or some online store might see customers make one big purchase uh, for a period of time and other customers or online stores might have more a higher detention or repeat customer rate where customers come back frequently and often and therefore you know spend, uh, spend much more value in terms of uh, their orders over time. Uh, we then we then focused on also offering these customers again the waiver of free delivery so it doesn't matter what amount of uh, orders they spend with it was below or above the threshold which offered these repeat customers free deliveries uh, for any and all of the orders so again uh, this really much encouraged customers uh, to come back to purchase but also it gave a, a reason for customers to come back and to make an additional uh, or another uh, another order uh, and purchase and then last but not least, uh, the most important thing for retention, we focus on customer service. So because we mentioned trust being a very big factor for customers from an online point of view, we know that once customers place an order, they are very uncertain if the order is ever going to arrive. They're not sure, again, if this is a, a online fraud or scam. So customer communication is something that was very important. So we drove this communication to our customers uh, by using uh, courier updates. So as soon as the order was collected, we would notify the customer. Once the order is in transit or on the way to be delivered, we'll notify the customer as well. And then lastly, on the day of delivery, we also notify the customer via SMS as, as, as well as via an email. This again, just uh, puts the customer uh, uh, at ease, uh, kind of peace of mind customer is not uh, you know uh, too stressed about the order but also it just uh, you know shows a good level you know of customer service and i think lastly from an after service or after service uh, after sales point of view once your order has been delivered just to ensure your customer uh, is happy that it is the correct item that they have purchased uh, and actually you know shopped and, and expected to buy you know from you that again you know just gives you a point of difference and just makes makes you you give your customer a great online shopping experience so that was kind of uh, in today's video a summary of how we generated over 120,000 rand in online sales in the last 12 months firstly was focusing on customer acquisitions so how do we acquire new customers and visitors, visitors and traffic to our website. Secondly, we focus on how do we convert these customers into sales? Do we give them uh, vouchers and discounts? Do we offer them free delivery? Or do we communicate to them via uh, email marketing? And then last but not least, we really much focused on driving uh, increase of our average order value, where we focused again on uh, upside and cross opportunity, giving uh, repeat customers vouchers or uh, a discount. And lastly, just ensuring we give our customers the best level of shopping and online experience. So again, uh, thanks very much for those that have stayed uh, tuned in today's video. I know it was quite a lengthy and quite a mouthful for those that have, that have listened and that have stayed tuned until the end. So if you would like to book uh, or if you have an have a, a online business or you would like to go online, whether it is launching or building your own online store or if it is in terms of growing and scaling your existing online store, feel free to leave a comment down below or I'll leave a, a link where you can book a free consultation call with me where I'll be able to, to show you exactly step by step how we can help your business achieve the same or even better and greater results. So from my side, thanks very much again for tuning in to another episode of today's Business Talk. Uh, that's, that's it from me, Shane Bikna. Uh, thanks very much. Keep well, guys. <music>